Guys, this is getting very scary. I just watched the multiplayer gameplay of Gears of War 4, my eyeballs were shrinking very quickly, I literally had to shut down the video. First thing first, you might be wondering why is Gears of War 4 multiplayer running at 1080p 60 frames per second, because it looks like a Xbox 360 game. You want to see comparison between Gears of War 3 and Gears of War 4, let's do it. <laughs> Ford is back, and it's better than ever. Oh, it's the gameplay you love, surviving wave after wave of ever stronger enemies. But this time, they'll also be facing the mutating Lambin. They cannot do next generation graphics with 1080p 60fps. They had to lower the graphics to achieve 1080p 60fps because the Xbox One isn't powerful enough. Just look at Forza, that shitty game is running at 1080p 60fps and that's why it looks like a 360 game compared to a real next generation racing game called Drive Club. Just look at this running animation. Remember folks, this is Gears of War 3. Now let's take a look at Gears of War 4 running animation. Do you see any difference? I don't. The Coalition Studio is using the same running animation from Gears of War 3 and adding it to Gears of War 4. Are you seriously that fucking lazy? If the screen has to be shaky and wobbly every time I run in this game, I would have a serious seizure, and I have been playing games for years, and I never had a problem, but with this game, I would. The Coalition used many, many, many more animations from Gears 3 and added them to Gears 4. I can't believe they couldn't create new animations from the ground up. Gears 4 is using the same animation from 4 years ago and adding them to the new game. Laugh my fucking ass off. Very lazy studio. Just like Turn 10 Studio, look at this garbage. Look at the fucking water, the water animation is flat, it looks like paper. Look at the wall. It looks like this game was developed on the first ever Xbox. The Coalition Studio, please tell me this is a joke. You can't be proud of this. If this game was presented to any Sony executives, they would immediately go into a meeting and cancel the game. The only next generation game that looks good on the Xbox One is Sunset Overdrive, and guess what? The game was developed by Insomniac Games, a studio that started with Sony. Sony gave Insomniac Games talent and resources and they brought that Sony talent to the Xbox One. That's why that game looks good. Any studio that are owned by Microsoft don't have talent and if they are funding an exclusive game from a third-party studio like Platinum Games with Scalebound those game also won't look good, because it's being published by Microsoft. Just look at Bloodborne, from Software Studio is a third-party studio, but Sony funded and published the game and the game is a pure masterpiece in graphics and gameplay. When Sony reveals a brand new exclusive game everyone's jaw drops when they see those graphics and that will happen in two months at E3 2016 with Sony Ben's new open world horror game and Sony Santa Monica's new God of War 4 game. I will leave you with some high resolution screenshots of Gears of War 4 multiplayer. Please do not vomit. Like this video, share and subscribe.